Hello, I'm Tom Bailey, and today I'll be interviewing Gina Gabellini, who is the founder of Masterpiece Coaching. So Gina, hello, and a very warm welcome. Whereabouts in the world are you right now? I am in sunny Northern California. Amazing. And I can tell just in your window there, the sun's glaring through the window. Beautiful. Okay, great. So onto the subject then of Gina. And Gina has spent 25 years as a business coach and knows exactly how to make client attraction easy without doing the stuff you hate. So definitely somebody you should follow if you're interested in attracting more clients into your business. Now, Gina, thanks again for your time today. And the title today is How to Flip Your Client Attraction Switch, which Gina is going to show us how to do in under seven minutes. So Gina, just like a game show, your time starts now. And question number one is, who are your ideal clients? My ideal clients are people who are coachable. <laughs> Yeah. People who actually want to take the advice and run, people who understand, entrepreneurs who understand that while strategy is important, the mindset is just as important because the mindset feels the strategy. You can't have one without the other, or it's like a house of cards and the whole thing falls down. Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much for that. And and what's what's typically the biggest challenge that these entrepreneurs have? I think that everybody makes up that client attraction is hard. I think people make make up all sorts of stories because either that's what they've experienced in the past or that's what they've seen other people tell them. You've got to do 20 million things if you want to attract clients, especially online. You have to do all the things. You don't have to do all the things. You have to just do a few things and a few things that you can actually sink your teeth into and you're excited about. Because if you're excited about it, then you'll be willing to tweak them. You'll be willing to learn. You'll be willing to play the long game instead of, oh my gosh, it didn't work. I tried for 30 seconds and I didn't get clients. So clearly that doesn't work. And, and sometimes it's really difficult to stay focused on that one thing, isn't it? When there's so many shiny objects, there's a new strategy, a new social media platform. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Clubhouse right now. Mm -hmm. All my friends are on Clubhouse. And I'm like, I don't have time. How do these people have time? Do they not have fun in their life? What do they do? I'm like, I can't do it right now. I want to, I just yeah. can't. I don't have time. And if I don't have time, then I'm not supposed to be doing it. And, and with all these distractions and shiny things, what, what's typically the biggest challenge that that, that creates? And, and what, sorry, what's the biggest impact that has on their business? Of trying to do all the things. Mm -hmm. They don't do anything well. I think yeah. you, can't, you can't create a solid client attraction strategy without marinating in it, without sculpting it, without tweaking it. I don't care if it's online or you're just going to networking meetings, which is how I built my business. Mm -hmm. But it's like, how can you give it the time it needs to practice, to switch things up, to find out what's not working about it? I think we just throw out, we're not doing anything well. And we need to do just a few things really well. It doesn't mean perfect, just well. And, and it's great you mentioned about starting off by networking. And sometimes as a startup, we fall into the trap of having to try and build the whole thing before we actually start speaking to people. Um, and, and, and one of the guys that I follow always says, the more you connect, the more you collect. It's really it's about connecting with real people out in the real world, isn't it? Yeah, we don't need to have everything in place. You don't need a website. I mean, all the things are great. Don't get mm -hmm. me wrong. Mm -hmm. But I had a six-figure business before I had like some cool website. <laughs> yeah, you don't it. need a website to get clients. Is it helpful? Yes. But it really is about, pe you know, people knowing that there's have an open sign out there. And it's like, here we are. We're open. Let me show you what we have. Yeah, perfect. And, and if you could give one single piece of valuable advice to somebody in this position, what, what is that um, to really help them solve that problem? I think that you have to also look at it's it's not just about strategy of getting clients it's all the things we think about money mm -hmm. all the things we think about pricing uh our offer do we believe it's incredibly valuable you have to see yourself and what you're doing is so freaking awesome that yeah. it's like this big surprise party for your potential clients that you were that excited for what they're going to receive so you don't have all this head trash in the way when you're trying to execute a strategy or talk to a human being in front of you that you can actually help. Got it. Yeah, got it. Makes complete sense. And and just on the back of that then, so we, we spoke before, have you got something of value, like a valuable free resource that you can offer people to really help them with that problem? Yes, it's called Great. More Clients Now. And it, moreclientsnowtemplate.com. And it's, mm -hmm. it's an exercise that you do every day. 
Okay. It won't work unless you use it and you mm -hmm. can't just use it once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's about getting your head in the right space so that all you have to do sometimes without even changing a strategy, without implementing another thing is change what's going on in your head. And then the whole thing changes the impact of what every single strategy you're doing. You can't tweak a strategy when you got head trash going on. Yeah. And, and that more clients now template.com. I'll make sure that I share that link in the, in the notes and also in the, in the links on YouTube as well. So people can grab that straight away. Awesome. Now I always like to ask this question a little bit of curveball, but what would you say is one of the greatest failures that you've ever made either in life or in business? And what did you learn from it? Okay. We only have one minute, so <laughs> I got way too many, Take your time. but I think the, the biggest thing that I, the biggest failure I ever had, I thought it was a failure. Mm -hmm. I think I thought I had this big online launch. It went backwards and I thought, Oh my God, I'm doomed. The rest of my year is just going to be horrible. I'm not going to make any money. I maybe I'm just not fit to be a coach. This was like after 20 years in business. Yeah. What a bunch of malarkey. Yeah. It's just one thing that happens that sets you back, even if it's a complete bomb, mm -hmm. doesn't mean anything about what's going to happen in the next month. It's like, have your, have your little sadness over it, grieve a moment, yeah. move on, because you can create something amazing in the next moment. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. And that, and that you know, that, that as entrepreneurs, it's that decision, do I just go back and get a job? You know, was this a bad mistake? But like you say, keep moving forwards. Um, it, it, it will work out in the end. Great. And, and finally, what's one question that I should have asked you um, that would also give great value to our audience? Oh my, um, what's the, I, you probably asked, I don't remember what the first mm -hmm. question is, but I think the biggest mistake that people make mm -hmm. is thinking, no, you, you asked it, but I have a different, I have a different yeah, response. Right. Now. I think that one of the big mistakes that people make, especially now in the online world, which wasn't really a thing when I first started my business is I think that we are listening to other people more than we are ourselves. Like if an expert says, this is the way that you should do it, we don't question it. Mm -hmm. We should be always running everything through the filter with, of how does this feel to me? Does this align with my values? Does this align with like my excitement level? And it's like, you listen, listen to mentors, of course, listen to people on Google and YouTube, yeah. of course, but put it through the filter so that of your own, like putting your own special spin on it in a way that feels good. So you can be excited about it. Otherwise okay. you're just blindly following someone and that, that strategy may not work for you. Because you yeah. won't color outside the lines. Yes, exactly. No, and that, that's a real perfect note to end on. Um, and like you say, if you can apply that through your own filter, that'll make a huge difference because there's so much advice and information out there, but it's got to be right for you as, a, as an expert yourself. Great. Perfect, Jenna. Thank you so much for your time. It's great to meet you. And I'm really looking forward to getting this message out there into the world.